Welcome to the Theracus Sector, Commander. I know it's your first time in the field, so we'll go easy on you. Now, I've had a few pirate attacks lately, and the locals are getting jumpy. There's a few civilian stations here doing research and development for the UEM, and we need to keep them safe. Your first task will be to do a patrol of the Sestos system. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it. First up, you'll need to build a few ships. For that, you need resources, so I've transferred some over to you. The number of resources you have are indicated here. All stations can build small ships like frigates. With the right shipyards, some can build heavier classes too, like cruisers and carriers. Let's get started. Select the Pharos system on the star map. Here you can see the station's equipment and access its shipyard. Click the highlighted construction button. Let's order some night class frigates for your fun now. Select build. Increase the size of the order to four. Now select it. It'll take some time to build. Click the next turn button to get things moving. Normally these ships will take a lot longer to build, but to save you time I've sent you some proto matter. You can use proto matter to speed up shipbuilding, but the amount of proto matter you have is displayed here. Select the use proto matter button to instantly build the next ship in your A ship just got finished. Do it three more times to it's time to put these new ships to the test. You're going to send them to Sestos for that patrol mission I mentioned. Select the checkbox next to your new ships. Now right-click the Sestos system. Try again, Commander. We're looking for your ships will travel there when you click the next turn button. Now that you have ships at Sestos, you can start the mission there. Select Sestos. Select the mission button. We're going to head over to the tactical screen now. Select. Ah, the vastness of space. Reminds me of my own days on the hot seat. Okay, down to business. You can deploy your ships individually or all at once. Select deploy all to have them fall jump. There they are, the four knights you built. Drag a box Away around them. Orders. Great. You can also use the buttons at the bottom to select individual ships, no matter where they are. I've jumped in a friendly drone ship from another wormhole. Try to now that it's selected, you can focus on it by middle clicking. This works for any ship you got selected. Try it now. There it is. Now try and focus back on one of your nicely done. You can also rotate the camera around by holding the right mouse button. Try it now. You can zoom and you can move the camera. Finally, by holding the middle mouse button, you can move the camera vertically. Try it now. Let's give these ships some orders. Select all four knights. I'm here, Commander. Now zoom out a little to give yourself some room. I'm here, Commander. To move these ships, Awaiting make orders. sure they're still selected and press the right mouse button. Click again with the right I'm mouse button it. to choose where you want them to go. You can move your ships vertically by dragging with the left mouse button while issuing the move order. Give it a try, then click next when you're ready to move on. Commander? Let's do this. I'm on it. There are other orders you can give as well. These are in the orders bar at the bottom left of the screen. Proceeding. The buttons will change according to what ships you have selected. The drone ship I sent in is now designated hostile. Try sending your right knights away. to attack it. Make sure your knights are selected, and then right-click on the other ship. Yes, Commander. Right away. Your ships are moving in now to destroy the drone ship. Remember, you can focus on any ship by selecting it and clicking the middle mouse button. I'm here, Commander. Let's give them hell! Good. 
Let's try a different tactic. Here are some old radar ships we can use for target practice. This time, this is a light cruiser which carries a single Away squadron. Orders. Copy that. Up here is the carrier panel. You can switch between any carriers you currently have deployed. Currently, we have just one. Click the launch button to launch. There are two main types of squadron, fighters and bombers. Bombers are good for deflecting hull damage on capital Ready. ships. Fighters are good for attacking other fighters, bombers, and, as you're about to see, turrets. Here are the raider ships. Now select your fighter squadron by clicking the highlighted button. We're going to tell these fighters to attack the turrets of these ships. Now you have the attack turrets command selected, drag a box around the enemy ships. Confirmed. Try using the camera to watch the fighters in action. The raider ships don't have any anti-air, so the fighters will be able to safely destroy their turrets. Now the turrets are destroyed, issue a Loud dock order clear. to the fighters till they return to As long as Go one ahead. fighter in a squadron makes it Moving. back, the squadron will be repaired and replenished with new fighters. If all ships in a squadron are destroyed, you can build a new one from the carrier's hangar. Now let's send your ships in to finish the job. Select your four knights, hold Away down ship now, click the attack button, and drag a box around the enemy ships. Loud and clear. Your ships gain experience from kills. Over time, this will be shown as rank symbols next to your ships. Higher ranked ships do more damage, have higher rates of fire, and stronger hulls. Now, let's watch your ships finish the job. Now that you've got some ships in Sestos, you can build and select the Station tab. Select Build. Select the Manufacturing, and now select Build. The Station will take a few turns to build. Click the Next Turn button until the Station is built. The Station is ready. Stations will automatically repair any damaged ships at their location and have the ability to build small ships, but you can equip them to do much more. An icon has appeared between Ferros and Sestos. This shows you that the stations are connected to the network. This is only possible when stations are next to each other like this. Here in the Ferricus sector, the Ferros station is connected to the Galactic Power Network, so you'll have all the power you need already. To extend the power network further into the sector, more stations will be needed. To see the status of the power network, move your cursor over any power icon on the map. You can add modules to your stations to give them more abilities, such as building larger ships and assisting in battles. Modules that need power from the network are marked with a power icon in the corner. Let's add some modules to your new station. But first, we need to research those modules. Select this is where we can spend research points. Let's research a combat module for this. We can now build a bomber strike module for the station. The Knight has a combat module slot, so let's unlock the emergency repairs module. Let's put those modules to use. Select the station's combat slot. Select the bomber strike module. Okay, that's the station outfitted. When you take on bigger campaigns, you can unlock other modules too. Next, let's change the Knight's loadout to include our new ship module. Most ships allow you to change their weapons and modules. Bigger ships can fit a wider range of equipment. You can create as many designs as you like, but we're going to modify the Knight's existing loadout. 
The Knight is our only unlocked ship for now, and it's only got one loadout, so it's already selected. Find the Knight's module slot and click Change to choose a module. Select the Emergency Repairs module and the Equip button. Now save your changes. Excellent. We need to build ships with this new loadout before we can- There's another mission at Myos. Get your ships there and start the mission. Remember, it's a right click to move your ships. Welcome back to Deep Space, Commander. We're almost done, this. I took the liberty of building a few ships of your new design with the Emergency Repairs module. Here they are now. There's also another ship here. It's a Raider cruiser we captured a few months ago. This ship is a little tougher. It's got a spine-mounted beam weapon on the bottom side that can't be destroyed like regular turrets. Send your ships to attack the cruiser. Awaiting orders. Loud and clear. select the emergency repairs module. The module was able to instantly repair some damage. You can reuse the module when it is recharged. At Sestas, we added a bomber strike module to our station. Since this mission is taking place at a neighboring location, we have access to the Sestas station's module. That includes the bomber strike and the station shipyards. Here's another drone ship. We're going to use the bomber strike module to destroy it quickly and easily. Select the bomber strike module. Now right-click the drone ship. If you left click by mistake, just reselect Bomber Strike and try again. Cruiser destroyed. The bombers launched their missile and returned back to Sestos through the wormhole. You can also use the station to build ships. Press the highlighted button. Here you can build any ships that station is equipped to build, as long as you've researched them first. Each station has its own build queue. We only have one station nearby, so we you can build as many ships as you can afford, but you cannot leave a battle with more ships than you started with. If you end the battle with more ships of a hull type than you started with, the extra ships will be automatically scrapped at the end of the mission. So use your resources wisely, and tr information about ships that will need to be scrapped will be displayed as a warning on this screen. So check back here to find out if you have excess ship. Close the build queue screen by clicking. Ships still cost resources though. To keep your resources high, you can mine the asteroids here. To do that, you'll need at least one drilling bark and a ship capable of refining. All stations can serve as refineries, as well as large carriers. There is also a specialized refinery ship. I'm going to jump in two barks and a refinery now. Select the barks. I'm here, Commander. Mm-hmm. I'm here, Commander. Now press H to tell them to drill the nearest asteroids. Once I'm the drilling right. barks are full, they will return to the refinery to drop off their ore for processing. If you want, you can tell the refinery to guard the harvesters so it stays close I'm to here, Commander. I'm going, I'm going. We're getting a reading from the Ephesus wormhole. It looks like the Raiders have noticed you're here. Time for a different perspective. Select the Tactical Overview button. Here you can see the whole battle space. You can select ships, give orders, and move the camera as normal, as well as seeing where the enemy is. They're being cautious. It looks like they're going to hold position nearby, where you can access this view any time. By the way, this is no longer an exercise. Use what you've learned to take out these Raiders. Build new ships from the station and keep Ready, harvesting resources. Don't forget to use the emergency repairs module and the bomber strike. Good luck.
No problem. Ready for action. Ready, Commander. Let's give him hell. Ready for action. Let's do this. Go ahead. Engaging. Let's do this. At the ready. Great work, Commander. You've secured the area. Well, Commander, you've learned the ropes. I'll let you take it from there. It would be a great help if you could secure this whole sector for us. Before I go, there's a couple of other things to bear in mind. The science station at Pharos is already equipped with a research. The manufacturing station you built at Sestos has an industrial module.